YouTube, it's Ergo. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about two quick things here today. First off, um, I guess by the time this video goes up, it's already going to be over, but uh, in about an hour from when I'm filming now, is the final segment of the three segment Jeopardy where uh, they have this IBM supercomputer playing against humans in Jeopardy. So, I guess my first question to you guys is what do you think about that? Um, <laughs> Kind of one of the things I saw going around was, well, first obviously you got like the Skynet references and those type of things. But then also the question was posed, is IBM sort of turning into the next Google in the sense that really, I mean, Google hasn't done all that much in innovation in, in the recent years at least. Um, I, I mean, they, they got a lot of great things going on, but if you think of actual innovation, there hasn't been all that much. Uh, so I, IBM, you know, has this supercomputer that's able to, I, I believe I, I saw things, it's going to be already, again, <laughs> over by the time I do this, but I believe Watson's the computer there, wins. So the question is, I guess, yeah, uh, what do you think about that? I think that, well, first off, uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, WolframAlpha.com um, search stats thing or whatever, I don't know what its technical name is, but in, in the sense that you can get all sorts of facts and whatnot. And, I think if they did put it to that use, it could do really well and pull things up a lot better. But my, I guess, I don't know if, um, I don't think it would relate well to just standard web searches, though I guess that's what Ask Jeeves, if you remember that, used to do. I don't know. Um, but in general, I think it's really a great step forward in the age of computing, in that, you know, a computer is able to understand human language, and I think IBM might be marketing this at the moment towards companies and maybe even I work with uh, phone systems so maybe uh, future phone systems can use this technology actually yeah that's a good use there but I, I don't know what do you guys think on that now the other thing I wanted to talk quickly about was if you remember last week I was talking about Super Bowl commercials and the one that I sort of picked as my favorite uh, which I think was pretty universal was the um, the Darth Vader or little mini Vader one and I would just want to give a quick shout out to someone I watch on here and watches my videos also, 877man. I actually got a shirt from them right there. Um, they did a parody video of that and sort of the only problem I had with the original commercial itself was it just seemed kind of weak. You know, they, they did a click click with the car and it lit up and that was sort of the end of the movie and it felt like there just needed to be something more and that's sort of the biggest thing that uh, A77man and uh, Stuntman Luke uh, did in their video so I'm gonna link the video down below definitely check it out it's hilarious and um, yeah good people subscribe to them as well alright guys thanks for watching let me know your thoughts on the IBM question and um, yeah let me know what you think about their video also keep subscribing Keep favoriting, commenting, liking, sharing. Share these with your friends, and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Oh, and uh, Katrina, I just wanted to let you know, when you see me hold my hands up in the air, I just wanted to show you that I do have a firm grasp of the steering wheel with my leg here when I'm doing that, so it's not that I'm not holding on at all. So, just letting you know.